I just got invite message. Okay, invitation from the Arataki gang. It is an Arataki rocking for life through the force of awesome. It is an Arataki rocking for life through the force of awesomeness. We're back with another Arataki gang and also another rhythm game of Van Pressure. Also, again, doing this, you're gonna get the K9 Warrior. And yeah, we're on Egg 1, and let's see. Aha, I wanna guess who is this from? Nope. It's right, amigo. That's right, your bestest, but what happened to my butt? Who has been down here in Inazuma? Missing you! Hahaha, <laughs> that's. I'm not gonna read this. I'm just gonna slowly scroll down. If you guys wanna read it, feel free to pause the video. Be there or be square. If you are a no show, then there's no show. Disclaimer of course, I didn't have Shinobu transcribe this for me. He totally did. So Shinobu transcribed it. Alright, this ain't your dad. <laughs> this ain't your daddy. What the heck is going on today? We're going to Watatsumi Island. There are stages. Oh, so this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Oh. Dang. Dang, that was actually big. What happened here? Where did you get all of this money? Who is that? Oh, Dvorak. Dvorak, something like that. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog. Jack Even Attack. It's hiding in Tenshukaku. Uh, what dog? Ito, it's just a myth. What dog? <laughs> What's up, dog? Whoa, compadre and Paimon. Hello, amigo. I received your letter. <laughs> you finally made it. Oh, man, have I missed you guys. I don't. Ah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician really? from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hey, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. How have you been? I'm about to question, when did we meet him? Got it, last letter right. Pretty good! So how did you end up hanging around with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour now? Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. Since when did she become Minnie Melon? She's my Minnie Melon. This is no ordinary iridescence to her. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. <laughs> rockin' for Life? What do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Ooh. Huh? What, you never heard of Bullchucker rock before? Nope. Moo, moo, moo! Uh, and, uh. Oh. Right if you close your eyes and imagine, it sounds like something else. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Minnie Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some lavender melon rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. <laughs> I agree with her. Just to backtrack a little, what's this dog you are, you know, talking about? Like, what happened? <laughs> Just a local legend I heard about. Apparently, there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? I, it's, I don't know, three years ago in player time. Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Uh, a tragedy, to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakedanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Really? But the war wasn't that bad. Uh, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But, and not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? I... In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. So did this dog get... So did this dog get injured to what happened? No, the story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It oh. would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Oh. I think we already know which dog is that. Gotcha. Rocking and rolling to the rescue. A king among canines. Woo! <laughs> there will always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. There are three options here. It's whether it's Goro. It's whether it's from the Kamure tea house or it's the dog that we met on the van that still exists in my sanity pot. So where did you hear about this? In Rito. I ah. was actually there while the war was going on. It inspired me to write a song about it. 
I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Again? Oh, yeah. I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but... I see. <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes. They weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Uh, is it waving your problem away? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much Mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. What's up with you and the rock and roll word? They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? It's gotcha spirit, you know. Uh, you know, the spirit of, uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Right. right. Uh, understandable, question mark. <laughs> my, my connection died! Yeah, we're finally back here again. Oh my god, I have to skip all of those by spamming left click. Huh. By that definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those chumps are out <laughs> and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Yeah, anyway, you know, yeah, just, just put that aside. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? Ooh, that's a low blow, Paiwa. That's a low, very, very low blow. I have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Isn't that right? I... Could you, Sarah? Question mark. Also, one more thing is... I, I mean, Arataki gang is definitely small, also well-known, but not for their good deeds. Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. Yeah. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki gang. I got connections, all right? Okay. Even the track commission listens to what I have to say. Sure. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, really. You can doubt it all you want, Minnie Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. I thought you were talking about Ayato. Because last time, you know, bro just know. You know, bro just know. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. About to say you guys are always on the edge, but sure. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. Yeah, our face is like, mm -hmm. come on, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of art in the internet. Anyway, so what about the Kanjo Commission? Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki okay. gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. Uh, fines. Uh, fines? <laughs> fines. It's not fine, isn't it? Huh? No! Uh, I meant, I mean, the uh, taxes. Taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend, Ayato. Oh, yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. Wait, really? In fact, they got a saying now. Ayato of the South, Ito of the North. Ha <laughs> ha That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. Yeah, yeah, sure. And Traveler of the... I don't know, South and West and East and North. Did... Did you make that saying up? Literally, Paimon, yes. Then there's the Fox Lady, VIP customer of Yukio's <laughs> ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenshukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. You might need to be careful with your word. Do, do you know that, you know, that Raiden that is alone? Oh my god, the lonely god. Dang, they hit her heart. 
During the Drum Along Festival, the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. <laughs> That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Right. Wow, look at you. Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made shogun by the next time we see you. Ooh. And then Paimon will have to call you almighty bullchucker. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Darn thinking you never cease to amaze, huh? Um, well, I'll admit I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, I owe him my thanks. All of us are alike, gotcha. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both go thank him later. Oh, it's not you, it's Goro. Wait, you know Goro? Yeah, both of them are non-human, so you know. Yep, I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters. But I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. Wait, what other identity? You've, uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? <laughs> you found out? Wait! Whoa. So, yeah. Miss Hina, so you- I what? Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. Oh, wait. After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drum Along Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like uh, here, for example. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter, asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. I was like... What? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? Oh, never mind. You don't know Miss Hina is real. I that gotcha. I thought you. I see. Oof, that was close. I I know. I'm right? with you now, but what did you think general meant? Oh, we we thought we thought it's the end. We thought everybody already know, but oh, thank God. What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? No, you oh, I couldn't call you. Never mind. That's called a captain. You baka. Really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. All right. Tell him I also say what's up, dog. Sure you don't want to just join us? You know, we could help. <laughs> you oh, guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet. But uh, that the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Before Jack. I'm sure. I'm about to warn you, but never mind. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? Sure. What is the jam zone? The story just started. The story just started. Wait, that took like 12 minutes to start it. Dang. Alright, let's see around. I'm pretty sure they're gonna give us tutorial on the event, maybe? <laughs> question mark. Starting off with this. What this? We got a lot of instruments. Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. You can play whatever music you like. We already got those, I think. Was it? Well, they use that as well. If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Want to give it a try? I guess that makes my mind to flying rock and roll feel that. <gasps> Emergency foot. Hey, cut that out! Oh, lucky Ito's gone, otherwise Paimon would never hear the end of it. Uh, I, I, my bad Paimon. Pet pet. Uh, let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? <laughs> Don't ask why we're shiny. Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. 
The Arataki oh, gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. She's out delivering invitations right now. I... well... Yep, that's the Arataki gang for ya. Everyone yeah. else goofs around while Shinobu gets things done. If you wanna trust somebody, you can only trust Shinobu. We should help out. We can't yep. let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Oh, I mean... Are you sure? Absolutely! You are definitely just purposefully saying all of the stuff that you say just to, you know, attract our emotion to help you. Sure, we can handle it. That uh, would be extremely useful. We're starting to get behind schedule and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. For people like, no, yes, the Vorjig just used word to literally <laughs> make the player or make our character to help him. I mean, as long as there's Prime Mujab, I'm down. No problem, we're happy to help. So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating, was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. In five days? I mean, that uh, actually, uh, four uh, days. give me a second, I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it all be clearer. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you. Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final day of the event. Cutscene? Question mark? Ugh, typical bull chucker always has to be the center of attention. <laughs> center of attention. Why don't you do a song to Paimon? I would love to see you sing. Or hear you sing even. That's... I feel bad for the VA, but sure. Oh, Paimon would steal the show for sure! No one would give Ito a second look after that! Mm hmm Pretty sure he'd yell out, Paimon's so rock and roll it hurts! And then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out! I... Wait. Are we gonna actually hear them sing? <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon. But that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. You just called Miss Pai- wait, what? Ah, oh, Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. I believe we can probably find Ito somewhere. Uh, feel the venue. Why? Feel free to take a look around. I'll be with you in just a moment. Gotcha. Uh, where did where did Ito go actually? A bit of venue is just over there. I was trying to try and find Ito. Alright, I actually didn't find Ito anywhere, so we'll just look around. Ooh. Well, well, well. If it isn't the traveler and Paimon. I'm about to say, ooh, the stage look pretty. Whoa, Shinobu and Keizo, what a surprise! What up? What happened? <laughs> this truly is a pleasant surprise. Although, not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. Well, it's kind of obvious because it always invite us. So, yeah, also Shinobu is the one that sent the invite to us, so, you know. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. What prayer? What part of it? Eh, it's called intuition. Names pop into my head at relevant moments. Just the way my mind works. Ah, uh, either way, it's great to see both of you. What's up? Paimon sure wasn't expecting Heizo to be the first one to show up. I don't expect anybody to show up, actually. Because I thought we are just going to talk about, wow, what a pretty umbrella, wow, what a mess. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. I see. So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. Oof. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. That explained a lot. No wonder. Obviously, she don't want his nuts. If I were Kujo Sara, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. It's a sumo. And it doesn't sound important at all. Why would she show up? But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off too? All Ooh. that stamping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy. Oh, I actually want to see people animate this. Or just a cute animation. 
Yeah, it's just like, you know, just a doodle draw. <laughs> so Sarah throw it off. And then Coco here throw Sarah off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madam Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Oh, because she cannot... I see. What a nice... Ah, I didn't know Sarah actually gonna give a nice gift. I thought it was like, no, too busy, you know, those shenanigans, I don't want to go there. But apparently it give us a gift, at least. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. A cool basket of lavender melon. What type of message that mean? What message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. <laughs> I see. Okay, gotcha. I forgot Hazel is on police station. Right. Maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, and so did some of Ito's former cellmates. Ah, I see. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Man, that sounds so sweet if it's not from police station. Well, but yeah, it's, yeah, lavender melons, sweets, huh. Uh, maybe just give boss the melons and don't mention that part. Yeah. Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. Oh, you're here not to join the party, but to... I see. Uh, aren't you gonna stay for the event? Yeah, about to say that. <laughs> don't worry. I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Gotcha, so not here for help. Here just... Well, here to help bring the lavender melon, and later on join the party. Eesh, being a detective sounds busy. I got you running around all over the place. Oh, wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. <laughs> we don't know, we just hear people say that a lot of people say about that. Ah, the dog, yes? Yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Yes. Shinobu told me all about it. We literally say Nin Ken. Obviously it's a dog. Why will it be a cat? Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. I mean, we see, we see a lot of dogs, actually. What's wrong? From the look on your face, you've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. Hey, that's my bro, Hazel. Thank you. Are you sure it won't impact your work? How much do you, cha <laughs> How much do you charge for that? Probably none. <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me, too. Thank you. That's bro for you. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Jesus, finally he's got Seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Indeed. Well, I better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. Shinobu sounds so happy. What happened? Yeah, why is Shinobu so happy about this? I've never seen Shinobu this In happy. In case, guess it's time for us to get to work, too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Great! Perfect timing, Mr. Dvorak! We'll get on it right away! Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the jam zone. <laughs> flexing? I will never. With that, the egg one. The Ain't Your Dog or Ain't Your Daddy is that. What is that a title? Ain't Your Daddy? Ooh. Oh, I like the music. Yeah. Alright, we got three of that Extreme Carnival Ensemble. I'm gonna post it separately. For the music, I'm gonna post it per day. Ooh, Nahida one. 
Oh, dang, those beats. Now we got Rex Incognito. But I'm gonna pause this of them, only me playing it, no me talking at all. And yeah. Any last word? Dang, all the good music. Let's go. Oh, that is actually sick. Bro, all of this music is that good. Oh, they no longer do those music like the normal one. They are all just literally like a bobbing music. Also, obviously, you can go to a uh, Hoyo Lock as well, search for some extreme one. Because obviously, on this one, it's not gonna be hard. Where well, I'm gonna do Pro, though. I got a trillion trinket. I'll be posting this. Oh, it's just taking a picture. I'll be posting this when all of the event is released. Or all the stages released. Same with this as well. Other than that, I'll be doing the. I'm gonna post this daily. Hey, right, subscribe, like button. There goes us, Act 1. Venue decoration. We actually have to do something. Wait, do we actually have to something do something? You wish to report? Nothing. Dawn, you have my undivided. Hello. Would you like to practice some music? Rather than practice, I like to decorate the venue. Oh, really? You've got the things from the list? Great, I'll take those. Thanks so much. I'm guessing we're not able to yet. I just want to see what is this. <laughs> I got nothing. That's it. You just hand it and you got the thing. Alright. Also from this event, you can get a free Goro if you haven't got him yet. So, yeah. 